My name is Kelly Stewart. I'm a third year medical student from the University of Colorado. So welcome to AAEM. Hey, I'm Ben. Um, third year medical student at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs branch. Welcome to AAEM 2018. So my case today is the case of returning Perry Kotzler abscess. So this was a 42-year-old male who came into the emergency department with the chief complaint of epigastric pain and vomiting. So he reported to us that he had been diagnosed with a Perry Kotzler abscess six days prior to presenting to the ET, ED. Um, he had not had it incision and drain, but he did get antibiotics and clindamycin. Um, a febrile, a white blood cell count of 27.4 um, with the left shift. His HE&T exam, he had no ulnar deviation, um, but he did have some tenderness to palpation along the left anterior neck, as well as some significant fullness. So in this case, we consulted surgery, um, specifically at H, uh, ENT, um, and spoke to them, and he had to have uh, emergent surgical drainage of the entire uh, abscess. So in these cases, if you do suspect an expanding infection from a PTA, you must do a thorough workup because emergent surgical intervention is the so this is a case um, of a 35-year-old female who presented to the emergency department with headaches and some nonspecific uh, neurologic complaint. She reported that she had a negative CT scan um, and for evaluation of her headache just two days earlier. Um, she was originally from Uganda, um, but had a husband in the U.S. military um, and reported that that was her only sexual partner. On exam, uh, she was afebrile, she was alert and oriented. Um, neurologically, she did have some uh, upper and lower extremity left-sided weakness, and then some decreased sensation in her left index finger, and an MRI of the brain uh, was ordered, um, which showed extensive ring-enhancing lesions. Because the differential is very strongly uh, oriented towards some kind of opportunistic infection, including toxoplasmosis or even uh, CNS lymphoma, we need to work it up for some kind of immunocompromised state. An HIV uh, rapid test was ordered, which was positive. Um, she ended up having a viral load of over 45 or 450,000 um, and a CD4 count of three. The patient was started on uh, anti-toxoplasmosis um, therapy uh, with uh, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, and she was then subsequently started on antiretroviral therapy. So this case begs a few points. Um, one is that uh, a normal CT scan does not rule out uh, an uh, infection of the brain. Uh, and then a patient's immunocompromised state may not be apparent, always keep infectious causes of neurologic uh, symptoms on a differential. Um, and a year after this, um, a repeat scan showed that the infection had totally cleared.